Hello, everybody. I want to make this video uh, while I'm very, very angry. Because so, it's always a great idea to make a video when you're over-emotional. I don't know what's going on at YouTube, but uh, there's corruption going on there. There's and corruption going on. Because YouTube didn't do what I wanted them to do, therefore they're corrupt. Of course. Makes perfect sense, if you don't think about it. And I don't have a problem saying it, and if it means my channel gets shut down for saying it, so be it. I'll go it's the same thing that the Ackman said. They get over-emotional, they stop thinking rationally, and they resort to just saying, oh, I don't care if my channel gets deleted now, because, well, fuck it, I'm not making any money off this anymore, so... That now, now all of a sudden, they don't care at all about their channel. They're not going to upload content anymore. It's just going to, fuck it, uh, they can just delete it all. I don't care. Fuck my fans. Fuck the audience. Fuck the people who are donating directly to my channel. It's it's honestly quite, kind of hilarious. Walk off into the sunset and live stream on Twitch. So I go to check my account today. Because Twitch is just so much better. Of course, there's no corruption whatsoever on Twitch. It's a, squeak, a squeaky clean platform. Of course. And I see that I have a uh, community guideline strike, a warning. Uh, it tells me I can review the content here. And it is the... It's not showing right now, but it... Oh, well, how convenient. The The email on my... On my Three thousand dollar iPhone. It's not. It's not showing up. I can't. I can't open up my email. Sorry, guys. I would love to show you the email though. This is the live stream video uh, where I showed a highlight clip about Quantum TV. Now it also just so happens. Okay, so we just have to take his word for it. So I'm going to take everything he says with a grain of salt because big YouTubers nine times out of ten are fucking liars. But we'll just give him the benefit of the doubt. So okay, so. It's a Quantum TV live stream, which, big fucking surprise there. It's almost like I'm psychic and I knew this was going to happen. And I told these idiots time and time again, you need to, need to leave Quantum TV alone. You need to leave them alone before you get hit next. But nope, they didn't want to listen, so... You know, that this is what happens. Now I have a couple videos that also I didn't rate the ads properly, which initially I didn't think was a conspiracy. Remember when I said that they hit you with something that doesn't really make any sense? Well, there you go. But tied together with this, um, yeah, something's up. YouTube doesn't want us talking about this situation. No, it's not so much that they don't want you to talk about the situation. They don't want you to make 30,000 videos in the span of two months on the situation trying to start this bandwagon hate mentality, this hate mob against Quantum TV because that's considered targeted harassment, which is against YouTube's terms of service. But too bad I'm going to continue to talk about it. However, of course you are because you're obsessed with this man and you can't leave him the fuck alone. I am not uploading content on this channel until this is resolved. Of course you're not, because you're not getting paid to do it directly by YouTube, so fuck it. You're gonna you're gonna slander the man somewhere else, of course. It may never be resolved. YouTube may not Is it this is it this slow of a news week for you, Rich? Has it been slow for the past two months where you got nothing else to talk about? I thought this was a technology channel. You are called Review Tech USA. As in review technology in the United States of America. I'm not seeing any tech reviews being done on this channel. All I'm seeing is like 10 drama videos about, about Quantum TV. What are you like? Are you afraid that he's going to become a, a better technology channel than you? I mean he's already by default has better technology related content on his channel. Because oh yeah the guy just focuses on televisions. Because that's the whole point of his channel. I, I'm not seeing anything like that on your channel. All I'm seeing is drama videos over and over and over again about the same person. Remove this community guideline strike. But YouTube, what's going on? Why are you siding with hatred here? You are siding with someone who is verified to be a bigot who has put hateful things... See, here we go again with the YouTube morality police bullshit. So, I think it's hilarious that... These guys are all cool with Keemstar, a guy who has done deplorable shit on this platform for years. All documented evidence against Keemstar. They don't have a problem with him, though. But this guy, this little guy over here, uh, yeah, I don't like what he's done. 
But let's not take a look at the skeletons in, in Review Tech USA or Keemstar's closet. No, 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 no. We need to divert attention over to Quantum TV. This guy, this guy is a bad guy. Trust me, guys, I know. We need to remove this guy from YouTube because I said so. And if YouTube doesn't do it, then they're corrupt. Of course, it makes perfect sense, right? Wishing death, wishing the LGBTQ community is shot dead. Coming from a guy who's called somebody else a faggot live on the air. That's the side that you're siding with. This is yeah, I know this was a long time ago. But I mean, if this is where we're going to go, Rich, I mean, if we're going to stoop down to this kind of level, then, I mean, I think it's only fair to address some of the skeletons in your, in your closet. Repeat offender that has done this over and over again, Quantum TV. And during Pride Month, you are siding with the bigot. Why? Because someone there has an ego and doesn't want to admit they made a mistake? Or maybe there's someone there- There is no mistake. You're getting flagged for breaking terms of service, which you are. They're looking at your channel and confirming that, yep, he's, he's targeting harassment towards Quantum TV. And they're, taking rid and they're taking action against you. It's not rocket science. But then I'm supposed to sit here and feel sorry for this fat turd who's sitting here breaking terms of service and trying to blame other people for breaking terms of service. Like, the hypocrisy with these people knows no bounds, man. And it's hilarious. And now I'm supposed to feel sorry for this fat slob who just destroyed his own livelihood. No, I don't feel sorry for you. You're doing this to yourself. And I tried to warn people, hey, you guys might want to leave Quantum TV alone. But... No, he's just, oh, this is a bad take. Oh, Prince, you don't know what you're talking about. Oh, man. And now look what happened. That is a sympathizer. That's, like, incognito there. That sided with Quantum TV because they agree with this horrible takes. And maybe, or maybe so... He's not the one that has horrible takes. He's sitting back focusing on his own content. You know, kind of like the thing that you should be doing else figured that out and now you know it makes a lot of people look really bad but i don't know what's going on there but something is definitely going on and right now the way it seems yeah what's going on is that you're an idiot who doesn't understand youtube's terms of service and now you're trying to victimize yourself for breaking them over and over and over and over and over again youtube is siding with hate Hate against the LGBTQ community. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about the alphabet soup community, okay? We all know this is just PR nonsense, okay? So, like, dude, just shut up. Why are you trying to gaslight a bunch of, a bunch of random people trying to bring them into this nonsense? This has, like, what the fuck does the alphabet soup community have to do with Quantum TV? Off of stuff that he said on a different platform. That's the thing. He didn't even say any of this kind of shit that you're accusing him of on YouTube. His claim is that he was hacked. His, I think he said this stuff on Twitter or whatever. I heard that he was hacked. I don't know the full details. All I know is he didn't say this stuff on YouTube. But you no, but no. You want to sit here and cancel a man for something that he didn't even do on the website you're trying to get him removed from. What kind of fucking sense does that make? Imagine if you said something on Twitter, or you said something on, on Twitch, and now everybody wants you removed, not only from Twitch and Twitter, they want you removed from YouTube, too. They want you removed from everything. All because of, what about that time where you called somebody else a faggot? Right, now, now, should you be removed from everything? Should you lose your Twitter account for that? Because you said a hate word? Come on, man. This is stupid. These people are the ones with the bad takes. But they want to keep saying, oh, Quantum TV had a bad take. All this shit over a fucking review of a video game. Like, how how pathetic is this, really? You guys can't stand this man so much, all because he doesn't like the same fucking video game you do. Well, guess what? I don't like Elden Ring either. All right, what? Is everybody going to try and cancel me now because I don't like the game either? Yeah, his review didn't really make a whole lot of sense, you know, but fuck. I mean, the man's got it. The man's entitled to his opinion. But now you want to try and start this this hate mob against the guy, all because I mean, yeah, I know he's done other stuff too after this, right? But Jesus Christ, I mean, you guys, you guys are the ones that started all this nonsense by by targeting the guy in the first place, and now you're mad that it's backfiring on all of you, big time. Well, whose fault is that? And I'm supposed to sit here and feel sorry for him. It's it's laughable. 
Pride Month, and this is confirmed so long as Quantum TV is on there, who has called me a sexual predator. Look at how, look at how angry this guy is. Well, you're sitting here accusing him of shit that you don't even have proof of. All right, I mean, you guys got to take that up with YouTube. Called me a pedophile, lies he has said about me, and his videos are still up, unless he takes them down himself, and I get a community guideline strike. You're making real good choices here. I'll well, I, I think you did this to yourself, and I think you're an absolute moron for continuing to go on and on and on about him. Like, okay, we get it. He's a bad guy. He said a lot of stuff that you are, were offended by. You got triggered by it. Okay, we get it. Why can't you move the fuck on? Holy shit, you're a fucking moron. Anyways, that's all I gotta say for this. These guys are doing it to themselves. And I also like how I heard that Ackman is now trying to cancel Tommy C., another content creator, because he's mad that he's, he told the truth about this. He basically said the same shit that I said about it, that he did it to himself. And now, and now that the same guy that's trying to sit here and be like, well, the Quantum TV's a bad person, and, and we, well, I don't normally agree with cancel culture, but this one guy over there, we need to get rid of him. And now, and now that you you see what you see what happens, it just goes from one person to the next. And his his justification for trying to cancel Tommy C was that, oh well, I was just angry, I was just upset. Well. You guys just expose yourselves time and time again as being absolute hypocrites. And I have no sympathy for what happens to your channels at this point.